Hello YouTubes. Today I want to attach my hubs to my control arms and drive shafts. Now, it's important when you're doing a project like this that you've got a well thought out and laid out plan. Lots of nice new parts and, you know, a bit of money in the bank in case things go south and you have to change plan. I don't have any of that. What I do have is a couple of original 1987 RX-7 Turbo rear hubs. Five stud, so they take the bigger brakes, which is why I got these. However, on the back side where it connects to the drive shaft, we have this weird configuration, which is obviously designed to link to some fancy control arm system that obviously I don't have here because we're going with a basic flat lower control arm, basic flat upper control arm. I will be changing these connections so don't don't panic about that. But for now my plan is to remove that, remove that, remove that and I want this as flat as possible. This section here I want this flat because I'm going to cut some of this quarter inch steel to shape, big hole in the middle, bolt it onto the hubs once I flatten them out, and then weld on a couple of bush brackety things so that we can then connect it to the control arms. I do sort of have a plan then. Now, I would love to remove these brake dust shields to give me better access, but I have a feeling it's got one, two, three, four bolts holding it in. This section is actually attached to this section. So I think you can only remove that if you remove the bearing. And I don't have a press and I don't have new bearings. And these bearings work nice. So I am just going to proceed with plan... What are we at? F. Cut this bit off. Cut this here. I'm going to try and leave as much of the, the hub as possible. That needs to get flattened down, cut this off, but I do need this section, so I need to be careful when I'm cutting this straight across there. Oh, let's go on with it.
One down, one to go. Let's see if it's reasonably flat on this plate. We've got a raised spot somewhere. So it needs a wee bit more filing down, but not bad. I could probably get away with it, but I'd rather it was flat. Okay. Let me get the other one cut down to size and I'll smooth them both off at the same time and I'll I'll see you after that. You don't want to watch all that again. Both hubs are done. I have to say, cutting and filing down aluminum, it's really nasty. Make sure you wear proper eye protection, mask and protective jacket like I've got, the Lincoln job. Thanks Mark and Lisa. It's specifically nasty because it doesn't spark so you can't see when the little bits are flying about and getting in your face so as i say wear a mask right let me show you what we're doing next i now need to figure out how i'm going to attach these plates to these hubs i have decided i'm going to drill some holes in the thickest parts of the aluminum hub tap some threads screw in some high tensile hardened bolts. Obviously not this long, I need to cut them down to size. And then that should be enough to hold the plate on. The plate is going to be that sort of size, but I've got a cunning plan to make these plates look a bit more stock factory, shall we say. So let me, let me drill some holes. I'm going to try one first on a spare bit of aluminum to make sure it works. Uh, before I do that, you might be a bit concerned about the strength of your entire hub assembly being attached with threaded bolts, threaded bolts threaded into the, the aluminum. Now, aluminum is really strong. It was much harder to cut through that aluminum than it was quarter inch steel, for example. So I know it's strong enough. Also, if you've got, like I've got a small block Chevy V8 with a aluminum intake, I actually lifted that entire engine and transmission out of the, the engine bay using four very small bolts through a, a lifting plate. I thought it was over there, but it's not. And those tiny little bolts were enough to lift that entire engine and transmission. So these bolts, they'll be fine. Right, let me get on with that and we'll see how we get on. See you in a sec. I have to say, I've got a much greater appreciation for aluminium now. This stuff's really strong. Right, let's see what we can do about these adapter plates. Next step then is to cut this to shape and then it'll go there, bolt holes, big hole in the centre. So the easiest way to do that is just to get a bit of light card and I will just basically imprint the big hole, imprint the little holes. I don't need to cut the outside yet because I'm not absolutely sure where I'm going to be trimming it until I've got it on the shaft and then I can see where the control arms are going to be top and bottom. So let me get a paper card template done 
and I'm going to use my plasma cutter to cut the big hole and possibly round the outside. But the main thing at the moment is cutting the centre hole and then drilling the holes for the for the hub itself to screw into. If my calculations are correct, and they always are, I should bolt straight onto my hub now. Now, I may have elongated this hole a bit because, you know, something went squint. It's fine though. That bolt's too long. Back in a second, let me shorten this by half an inch. Actually, no, let me just throw in some washers just now. Kind of running out of. Running out of sweat. I think I've used all my sweat today. Whew, here's a big spacer I can use for now. Don't do this at home, kids. There we go. I have a hub adapter plate. Let me show you how this is going to work on the car. Well, <laughs> hopefully how it's going to work on the car. Knee protection. Okay, so this goes on to the drive shaft. Behave. Everything's very heavy now. Okay. Big bolt goes on the middle. And by big bolt, I mean a big nut. 
Let's not be pedantic. Okay, so this plate is now part of the hub. This lower control arm will connect somehow. It's obviously too long at the moment. So I can chop those little things off. I hope you're seeing that. I need to chop these down a bit. And then the top one, i balance this here. Will attach to the top bit, you see? So, I've got some cutting to do. I need to cut the bottom tabs off for now. And then we're going to work out how we're going to attach them to the control arms. How we're going to attach the plate to the control arms. Let's discuss that for a sec. Right. You know what? I'm going to drill another hole here and tap into the hub and have four bolts. Not quite happy with the three. I didn't think I would have enough space on the hub. But yeah, there's space behind there I can drill into, so don't panic. And also, obviously, I'm going to have to clean that up. I just wanted this done just so that I knew it would work and I would stop wasting time if it didn't. Right, so, as I was saying, there's going to be two points at the bottom somewhere for the lower control arm to connect, one point at the top. So the easiest option would be to add something like weld on a, a bushing with a housing and then the upper control arm can just hook in there could even do the same down there and there however that means zero adjustment no adjustability whatsoever and I got lucky with Bugsy you know he drives perfectly straight and I really just measured it with uh, a tape measure and some hopes and dreams and it worked great but this is a bit different so I'm thinking I might do some I might do some rose joint stuff something with adjustability even even on one side, so that it could it could rotate that way and that way, or something. I'm not sure. I can't quite decide yet. I don't want to completely half half arsed it, you know. So we'll open that up to discussion. See if there's a an economical way to make this adjustable, or do I just go big bushing, bushing, bushing? Right, folks. I'm going to leave it there for now. Obviously I've got the other side to do and an extra hole to drill and lots of cleaning up to do and more plasma cutting to do but it's all the same as what I've already done so you don't need to see that again. Okay so leave a comment let me know if you would just go fixed bushings top to the bottom, rose joints. If you think rose joints are a good idea uh, I'll send you my address and you can just send me them because they're expensive and I'm a cheap Scotsman. Oh right stick around to the very end and I'll show you my design idea for the plate you know once I trim it all down and see if you can catch the relevance if you get the relevance leave a comment <sighs> have a nice weekend everyone I am going cruising in Bugsy Monday and Tuesday there's two cruises on and I need to get Bugsy ready so we'll see you there take care bye